channel I hope you're having a wonderful day as usual in today's video I'm gonna be mentioning my 2019 least used luxury items I have about six handbags and then three small leather goods that I wanted to mention now I do want to caveat this by saying that it doesn't mean that I don't love these items it's just I haven't reached for them for whatever reason and I will tell you guys those reasons so I am changing up my background a little bit today usually I'm over here and you see a little desk in the background or I'm down in the bedroom or I'll have a backdrop so let me know if you like this as a background I'm just trying to change it up a little bit so without further ado if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and if you want to see which items in 2019 that I use the least then keep watching okay I'm gonna start with handbags and the first bag that I want to mention is this beauty right here how stunning is this bag this is the lady dior in the lambskin i love the looks of this bag and if you, if you usually watch my videos you know this is kind of part of my backdrop because i just feel like it's so beautiful to look at it's a classic piece in your collection princess diana used to wear it which is why this bag has become so iconic but let me tell you why i don't really reach for it a couple reasons one it has the top handle so i find that when i wear it top handle it's a little uncomfortable and it can be a little heavy two this is a lambskin bag so at the top of the bag i find that sometimes when i'm reaching my hand in my nails will scratch it and so there are scratch marks all over it so you have to be so careful with it because it is so delicate and then the third reason is it does come with a strap now you'll notice the newer dior bags have more of a thicker strap but this one the strap is so incredibly thin that i almost feel like when i wear it if i put too much in the bag that it's going to be too heavy but I just again I think the bag is stunning I will never get rid of it because it's a classic piece but I just don't reach for it as much as I thought I would plus it's a very very dressy bag so I don't really find myself reaching for it on the weekends um, it's definitely more of a work bag but I feel like I only like to wear it with certain outfits like I like to wear it if I wear a pencil skirt or something that's just kind of more structured but again beautiful bag but I just didn't find myself reaching for it all right this next bag might come as a shock because it is one of my favorite purchases however it's kind of one of my least used for 2019 if that makes any sense so the bag I want to mention is the Louis Vuitton this is the never full in the GM size and I have it with the um, pip on interior which is beautiful I currently have it stuffed with the Louis Vuitton dust bag but let me tell you why I haven't reached for it this is definitely more of a travel bag so whenever I travel I, I travel to Vegas this year I used my other Louis Vuitton Neverfull and that was in the Damier Azur which I love now this is just a beautiful print but it's so big so incredibly big I will insert pictures of it and for whatever reason I do wear a lot of black not that this doesn't match with black because the great things about the Neverfull is you can wear them kind of with anything but I just find myself gravitating more towards black bags this is a great travel tote and I didn't really travel that much in 2019 which would require me to like get on an airplane I think I only flew once but this is probably a bag that I can't really see myself getting rid of because it is a good one to have in your collection but just I just wasn't reaching for it this year so I'm sorry to say all right the next bag I want to mention is this bag by he right here and some of these you might recall from my 2018 at least use luxury items and this is the Burberry um, Nova check hobo bag first off I love the beautiful Burberry print I think it's so pretty as you know Burberry comes out with like a slightly different check print each year and I just love this one I think it's so pretty I like it with like the light color but the reason I don't really reach for this is because I'm kind of like a matchy 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 type of girl so with this bag I would either wear it with like my maroon pants or maybe a black pair of pants with like a, a white top so I don't reach for it as much simply because I don't feel like it matches with that many things but other than that it's a great great bag this is really old I've had it for such a long time so I will try to find comparable options to this down below and link it because it is a great looking bag it has the beautiful patent leather trim so I have nothing against it like I said all of these bags I mentioned I love the way they look but these are just the ones that I just haven't reached for 
but again beautiful but just I think because of the Burberry pattern and the fact that I don't feel like it matches with a lot of things I don't really reach for it. I'll give an example today for example it's the weekend I'm getting ready to go to my daughter's basketball game I have this is like a comfortable um, top I'm gonna have some leggings on and then I'll probably grab like a black crossbody but if I were to wear this I mean I guess you could but it just I don't know it doesn't really match that much and I think that's one of the main reasons I didn't really reach for it in 2018 okay you guys don't get mad at me for this one because I do like this bag but I just didn't reach for it and I'm talking about this little guy right here this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 35 in the Damier Ben. Let me tell you why I don't reach for this. You guys might know that I sold my other one in the Damier Azur, but I just, I can't, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get rid of this one because this is, I think, my first Louis Vuitton purchase. And it's a great bag. It is going to hold its value. But I have it with the top handle. And I find it very uncomfortable to carry the top handle. It becomes very, very heavy. And this particular bag does doesn't have a place to like add a strap or anything and a lot of people were telling me that I should invest in the other style the bandolier but this one it just again it I think because of how heavy it gets and because I only have to because I have to wear it like this I just don't really really reach for it but still a great bag and I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of it all right you guys when I mention this next bag please 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 don't come for me please don't get mad at me and I know you're gonna be really surprised when I mention this one and the one I'm going to mention is this little guy right here. Notice they have two pochette Matisses, but I reach for the black one all the time because you know I am partial to black bags. And this one right here, which is the Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse in the monogram, again, I just don't reach for it that much. Now, it is a beautiful bag. I love it. I don't have any complaints other than I just have not been reaching for it. I always reach for that black one. I don't know if it's because I've had it for longer and it is black and I just, I don't know. I, I just, I thought that I would wear this one all the time and don't get me wrong, I have worn it in 2019 but I'm just not reaching for it as much as I thought and yeah, I don't, I don't have anything negative to say about it. You guys know that this is one of my like favorite purchases which I know that probably contradicts myself and it doesn't make sense because it is one of my favorite purchases because I love the Pochette Matisse if I didn't love the Pochette Matisse I wouldn't have bought another one but I just didn't reach for it as much as I thought so 2020 is a new year I'm going to try to reach for this more but in 2019 that's when I purchased it I just didn't reach for it as much but it is one of my favorite bags. I told you because I love how it has a zip pocket where you can put your phone. I love how it has this accordion style. It fits so much. It's just a beautiful classic bag, but I just didn't reach for this particular style. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I have one more bag to mention, and that's a bag that I actually don't have to physically show you because I did sell it in 2019, and that is why it's one of the least used bags. And I'm talking about the Gucci Super Mini Dionysus bag. I will insert a picture. I was so excited when I got that bag because I thought it was the cutest little thing ever, but guys, I could not fit anything in it. I have the iPhone 10. My iPhone 10 didn't fit in it. I could fit a little card holder, but not much else. It is so small. So I kind of wish when I got the Dionysus bag that I would have gotten one size larger because I feel like when you have a handbag, it is cute for it to be little, but you want to fit your essentials. Perfect example is this little guy right here. This is the um, YSL Mini Lou. This bag is tiny, but you can fit so much in it. You at least have to fit your essentials. So that's one of the reasons that I sold that bag. And again, if I do invest in that style again, it's going to have to be one size up so I can at least fit my phone. So, okay, those are all the handbags. Now I have three small leather goods that again, I love these small leather goods and I'll never get rid of them, but I just didn't reach for them. The first one, this little guy, this is the Louis Vuitton multicolor key pouch. How pretty is this? they have discontinued the style so I will try to find um, as many styles like this down below and link it I purchased this when I was um, I think I was in Vegas when I purchased it I just love the looks of it um, I'll show you the interior it has like a pretty raspberry interior but I find it to be really really stiff and just for whatever reason I just haven't reached for it um, I again I'm never gonna get rid of it because I love it and I think part of me because it ha has been discontinued I don't want to get it dirty I 
I really want to keep it in pristine condition in the event I do ever decide to sell it, which I don't think I will, but I don't know why I haven't reached for this. Honestly, you guys, I guess I just have so many other small other goods that I love. I love my Chanel Boy. I love my Louis Vuitton Pochette Clay. I love my Louis Vuitton. It is the um, key holder and the emprunt. That's like one of my favorites. So again, beautiful piece, but just for whatever reason, I haven't reached for it. The next item I want to mention is by Louis Vuitton, same collection, the multicolor collection, and this is very similar to the other one, but it is the coin purse. I did. I got this one in Vegas. This one, I actually had to get it fixed because I did use it. First off, look how beautiful that interior is. It's so pretty, but again, it's just not really pliable. It's really stiff. I had to actually go to Louis Vuitton and get the zipper fixed because the zipper, it doesn't like slide super easy and you have to be really careful careful about like overstuffing it and I just I don't know I was I thought that I would love this this is one of those purchases that when I got it I was so excited but I just didn't use it as much as I I thought so again beautiful beautiful piece I'm gonna keep it in my collection but I just really did not reach for it in 2018 Okay, the final item I want to mention is this Louis Vuitton this is the Emprunt card case I don't really know why I got this. I got it to keep, no I do. I got it to keep my business cards in it, but I just don't ever use it. Like, I mean, I, I keep it in my room, but I just don't ever take it with me anywhere. And I, I feel like it might've just been an impulse buy. If you are someone that has business cards and you carry them on you every day, this would be great. You open it up. Um, there's a slot in here. There's another slot where you can put your ID. But like I said, I think I just have like so many other small other goods that I just gravitate towards. So as you can see, all of these items, they're not bad items from the handbags to these to the small other goods. It's just I have found some tried and true items that I just love so much. And I, I told you the Chanel boy, the Louis Vuitton pochette clay. There are so many great ones, the Louis Vuitton key holder. So because of that, it's, I'm just not reaching for this. So again, this video is not about items I don't like. I just wanted to share with you the items that I do have that I just didn't find myself reaching for. So I will be sure to try and find all these items down below. I'm so sorry if these are items that you guys do reach for. I, you know, nothing against these items at all. Just for me, personally I found that I wasn't really reaching for these items so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed um, let me know down below if there's an item you were like really excited about getting but you just didn't reach for it that much I'd be very curious to hear about that make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and follow me on Instagram I'd love to have you join me over there have a wonderful day you guys and I will see you in my next video I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure by myself when I met ya